rocking a little side pony. This is a song by my favorite band, Lake Street Dive, but it's really about having an affair and not about a hairstyle. Good morning and welcome to the vlog. This is so exciting. I feel like it's been such a long time since I vlogged, probably because it has been. But good morning, hi friends, how are you? No, like seriously, please give me an update. How are you doing? Tell me in the comments. That's actually been one of my favorite things. I don't know if you guys remember, but like a, maybe at the very beginning of quarantine, I did a video and the first question of the day was like, how are you actually doing emotionally? And I noticed how many of you guys actually like shared what was going on and what you guys were feeling and how many of you guys appreciated having an outlet to actually just talk and hang out and you know, to feel like a family, cause we are. Hit me up, how you doing today? I feel really good today. Like I'm just excited to get the day started. I've just been working a lot lately, kind of planning out the rest of the content for the year on my channels. I don't know if you guys saw in my Joanna video, but I announced that I'm working with a killer party, which is a super funny, ridiculous musical murder mystery series. So I'm going to be hosting their big Halloween virtual event. The people who have been on these calls and the stuff we've been talking about has been so beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs> like, I can't believe this is happening, especially on a year where we like don't really have a Halloween. For the last couple years, I've been throwing huge giant Halloween parties with all of my friends, like across all my friend groups. And it's kind of a bummer that I'm not gonna do that this year. And I kind of feel like the killer party party is taking that place in my heart. So I'm really excited to like celebrate with all of you guys and all of these incredible people that I can't say yet. But anyway, if you want to get more info on a killer slumber party, I'll link that down below. Also, if you haven't seen the series, it's insane. Jessica Keenan Wynn, Drew Galing, Jeremy Jordan, Laura Osnes, all of these super Broadway celebrities shot a musical murder mystery in quarantine. I don't want to spoil anything if you haven't seen it, but Drew Galing and Jeremy Jordan have a duet. It's next level. It's everything. Anywho, Let's do an unboxing because we got a lot of mail and there's cardboard all over the floor and my mom's gonna yell at me if I don't get rid of it soon. Oh, I missed my straw. Good morning, Florence Pugh. Can you tell that I haven't had my coffee yet? Most of this is PR, I think, but some of it is just like shopping. So I think there are some clothes here too, but we'll find out. Also, if any of these companies send me uh, discount codes for you guys, I'll be sure to pop them up on the screen so that if you wanna do some shopping, you can save some money. But none of this is sponsored, by the way. Like no one's telling me to say this. Ooh, we got some confetti. Oh no, that's gonna be a mess. I was gonna throw it because I keep thinking about that one line in Haunting of Hill House when Nell is like, the rest is confetti. Okay, this is by Double Dip Nails and it's nail powder. These colors are so cute. Look at this. A bunch of liquids. What are these? Oh, dip top, dip base, activator, and brush cleaner. These colors are beautiful though. I'm really loving this. I've never done like a dip powder manicure before, so I'm very interested to try this out. These look like so much fun. Huge thank you to Double Dip for sending these over. Oh my goodness. If you guys want to try Double Dip, you can use code Catherine20 for 20% off. I'll do these next because I already took them out of the packaging. Sorry. Bamboo sent over a set for me. I love this little bralette. It's very uh, like industrial, but the lavender is so cute and very much in my color palette. They also sent some bottoms with it. These are so cute and comfy. I've been wearing them just to like lounge around while I've been editing. It was so funny. A couple days after I got these, I logged onto Instagram and I saw that they sent Rachel Zegler a pair too. And I'm like, ah, oh, everyone's just gonna think I'm a Rachel Zegler stan, which is true. I am a Rachel Zegler stan, so. Anyway, huge thank you to Bamboo for sending these over I feel so like sexy and cool and I love it. I've been watching uh, Big Love on HBO which was a show that I think started in 2007 and ended in like 2011. One of the characters that they just had in this episode was named Betty and my brain just kept playing Betty by Taylor Swift. I mean that's what my brain does all the time. Oh we got some sunglasses. These are from Rainbow Optics. I love these so much. They sent me a couple pairs a while ago but um, I'm so excited to add these to the collection. Oh this is giving me such Maddie from Euphoria vibes with the fun purple and the extra glam. And I like that it's not too, too out there of a color. Like it still feels very wearable with my color palette. Thank you, Rainbow Optics. These are so cute. Okie dokie, what is this? I'm guessing it's Nordstrom, but we'll find out. This is a little black dress that I ordered. This is kind of a cute piece. Yeah, this one's from All In Favor. It might definitely be a little too, <laughs> I like how it just blends into my sweatshirt. <laughs> 
I always get nervous about dresses that have like the bust area built in because I feel like my bust never works. There have been so many good deals over at Nordstrom lately. I just got a really cute dress. I actually wore it in my Joanna video and I think I'm gonna wear it tonight. I can't tell if I really love it and it's got kind of like a, a 90s it girl kind of vibe or if it's maybe something that I would wear to a bat mitzvah. Coffee break. Ooh, we got something from Good Molecules. They do a lot of really great, really reasonably priced skincare. We've got the Rosewater Daily Cleansing Gel. Dispense a small amount into your palms and massage onto your face to create a light lather. I feel like a lot of the times when companies try to get their pricing down, the packaging kind of suffers, but I feel like Good Molecules has done such a good job at not losing either. So this is awesome. I can't wait to try this. Thank you, Good Molecules. Next up, we got restocked on some Glossier. I... Do I have to say anything? I simp for Glossier. Truly, I've noticed how much of my makeup routine has just been replaced by all Glossier. Like I use five or six products by them every day. They sent over my favorite boy brow. I use the shade Blonde and that definitely helps like soften up my brows. And then Generation G lipstick in the shade Cake, which by the way, I saw a bunch of comments from you guys on a video I uploaded yesterday asking what color I was wearing. It's this, I wear Cake every single day. It's my absolute go-to lipstick. It's like a very peachy nude, your lips, but better. If you try anything by Glossier, I would say do their lipstick and their boy brow because mwah, chef's kiss. As always, I've got that discount link for Glossier in the description box. You just shop through the link and then the discount will be applied automatically. Saves you money, helps support the nerdy stuff I make here on the internet, so go enjoy. To Catherine Steele, oh, Cozy Earth. <gasps> oh, I am excited about this. This is like a really, really classy sheet company, like, like bed sheets. It's one of Oprah's favorite things. Oh my God, have you ever had sheets so fancy they come with their own canvas bag? Cozy Earth Premium Bamboo Bedding. This bag is like nicer than 90% of the canvas bags I own. I'm gonna start using this for shopping and groceries. You can really see a difference in the quality. Oh my goodness. I've never owned sheets this nice before, so I'm very excited to be a little more adulty. I think I got these in the queen size because I'm looking at potentially hopefully moving in the next couple months and I'll be doing a queen bed in the next place. Knowing me though, I'm definitely gonna use these before the move because uh, these look amazing and incredible and I don't care if they don't fit my bed perfectly, I just want to sleep on a little bamboo cloud and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okie dokie, next up we got a package from Ipsy. This is so cool, Ipsy, if you don't know, they do like a lot of hair care, makeup, skin care. They like curate subscription boxes of a a bunch of really nice high quality products. I've never tried Ipsy before, but I have so many friends who have it and just say that it's unbelievable. So, oh my God, here we go. First Ipsy unboxing. Okay, we got some foam in here so nothing breaks. That's, oh, -hoo. what do we got in here? Oh, we have a Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I love that packaging. That is so cute. Ipsy, your magic. <gasps> is this a candle? A virgin lit the black flame candle. It's like a, like a, like a sexy man? Yeah, ooh, this is good. This is what I imagine like James Marsden smells like. Mahogany? A Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. Oh my God, and everything's mauve. <gasps> <laughs> look at these colors. And look how nice and big the mirror is. I actually own another one of these mini Huda Beauty palettes, but in a purple colorway. My friend Marissa <laughs> gave it to me and it's just stunning. Like I'm so impressed with how sparkly the sparkles are and how pigmented all of the other colors are. This is just perfect for me. I love like a good cherry, rose gold, mauve. We've got an Illuminati quad palette. These colors are also stunning. Very fall appropriate. I can see myself putting on these colors and like wearing a little cardigan and like wistfully drinking tea looking out of a window. We've got some eye cream from Florga. I don't know how to pronounce that. We've got a brush from Firma. We've got a little baggie that says Your Magic. Smashbox primer. A serum from Sunday Riley. Oh my goodness. A mess mascara by Bobbi Brown, a Brio Gio Farewell Frizz leave-in conditioning spray. I'm gonna use that later. I feel like it's Christmas, like I'm opening up all of this awesome stuff that I wasn't anticipating at all. Cruelty-free, hypoallergenic, synthetic, vegan. No way! It's like a full brush set. Oh, and I love these handles. And then we got another little uh, like drawstring baggie from Ipsy again with the same Your Magic and the same like kind of witchy makeup-y thing on the back. This is 
unbelievable. Thank you so much, Ipsy, for sending this over. I took a quiz online and kind of filled out what my preferences were and what my style's like, and they hit the nail on the head. I'm so impressed with what they put together. Okie doke, last thing, we got one more package from Nordstrom's. Whoa, that's crazy, it like came on a hanger. This is like that classic little slip dress by Lace. I don't know if you guys have like walked into a Nordstrom and seen this exact dress in every color on every display. I've never tried it on, but they had this really pretty kind of orchidy color and they only had one or two left in my size. So I thought, hey, let's, uh, let's try it. I'm very interested to try on these dresses and see which ones end up working out. right now. Look at this dress. Look how perfect this is. This is so like Jennifer Gardner in 13 going on 30. It's a great little dress. Except they had the ruching go all the way through the bust. So now I just kind of look like a jellyfish or something. Like, I don't know what's going on here, but it's not good. It's like a good standard little black dress. Like, I feel like you can't go wrong with it. I'm just not sure if I necessarily need a little black dress right now. This would be really great for like any staged reading or concert that you do where they're like, we're all black. And then you're like, okay. And then the night before the performance happens and you panic because you realize you don't have a little black dress. That's like an appropriate length, but still cute and good. So I think I might just hang on to it for that reason. It's a nice silhouette. Anywho, I'm gonna get a little workout in. Hi, hello, it is now several hours later. I did a nice big workout. I did about an hour of cardio, some abs, a little bit of yoga. Had a good Taylor Swift playlist going on for that. I took a shower, as you can see, and now I uh, gotta start getting ready for my date. I'm gonna let that air dry before I style it. So I think now I gotta get started on some makeup. So retainer is going in and we're switching to voiceover. Hi, hello, welcome to my naked face. Let's get started with some Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I'm just going to put that all over my face. I really love how light this primer is. I remember when I was in college, when I was working at Sephora, it was during like the big primer boom when everyone was coming out with these really thick primers and they would always break me out. And more than that, I always felt like I was wearing a mask like I was wearing stage makeup and switching over to a lighter primer like this has not only been really great for my skin, but just for like my self-esteem. I don't feel like I'm putting on a completely new face. It just feels like me. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Fix, but I'm really just gonna put that up on my brow bone because I'm going to prime the rest of my lid using Glossier's Lid Star in the shade Cub. I love putting this down as a layer before I go in with any kind of cranberry or rose gold kind of look because I I feel like the Lid Star really helps bring out that pop of color. Going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, I'm going to take the shade White Chocolate and I'm going to brush that all over my brow bone as the highlight. But then I'm going to take the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Exposed and I'm actually going to put that in the crease. I love multi-use products. I mean, I don't think this is marketed as one, but I'm a big fan of putting blush as your eyeshadow, especially if you have any kind of green or blue flecks in your eyes. I feel like any kind of pink or warm toned shadow really brings that out. Also, I'm going to go in with the shade Unbelievable from the Lorac Unzipped palette. It's just kind of like a rose goldy shade and I'm going to put that all over the lid and I'm also going to drag it up a little bit into the crease. I usually wouldn't put a shimmer in the crease, but YOLO. I'm actually gonna go in with this highlighter by Ofra Cosmetics. It's in the shade Pillow Talk. I love it so much. It's very bright, very eye-catching, and I'm actually going to wet that down using my Rose Water Spray by Glossier, and that's gonna go in my inner corner, and I'm gonna drag that through the first half of the lid. I feel like it gives me this really pretty, doe-eyed Disney princess look. I'm going to throw on my mascara and winged liner the same way I always do, and now we're gonna gossip about boys. I'm getting ready for a date right now. I don't know how many of you guys have been talking to new people in the last few months, but boy is it weird. Social distance dating kind of adds an extra layer of awkward to everything. I think because you're very cognizant of personal space now more than ever, it almost feels very middle school. Like you're very aware of how far away they are from you because they're terrified to make an actual move and not because you snuck away from the school dance and the parent chaperone is glaring you down. So regressing back to my 12 year 
old flirting tactics has been not something I anticipated. So I'm casually dating right now, just kind of meeting new people. So no, I do not have a boyfriend. I just wanted to clarify that. It is all very casual. I think my whole life I've felt this pressure to get into relationships, you know, to settle down, to make my crush my boyfriend. I think a lot of girls feel this way, that it's very all or nothing, very intense ends of the spectrum, and that's exhausting. For me, it's pretty much always been meeting a guy, becoming friends with him for a few months, waiting for him to make a move, and then we finally start dating. So by the time you're actually on your first date, there's all of this built up emotional baggage, and there's so much at stake, and does he like me? Does he like me more than friends? All of that is just a lot. So dating just to meet new people and getting to know them is so nice, because it takes that part of the equation completely out. You already know that they think you're cute, you don't have years of friendship and history at risk, and you don't necessarily have to worry about it becoming a major commitment. You can just enjoy them as a person. In the past, I feel like I've really focused on trying to appear like I'm girlfriend material, like I've always tried to be the kind of girl that I think he wants, that I need to be this perfect, inauthentic version of myself. I don't even enjoy the journey there because I'm so stressed out about whether or not he wants wants me to be his wife or something. And then I, I finally realized that I was putting in all this effort into something that I don't even know if I want it with him. It's so much emotional labor and such a big commitment to tie yourself to someone in that way. And I don't mean monogamy or being exclusive, like that's fine. I just mean that you have another priority and another responsibility in your life. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy being in stable, loving, long-term relationships, but I feel like I've never just dated for the sake of getting to know someone one and having fun. So that was the very long, very rambly way of saying that I feel great, my self-esteem is doing really well, and I feel really independent. I think that's something that tends to go for me when I'm in a relationship. I end up becoming, you know, obviously very half of a team. And it's not even that I'm really codependent, it's that I make a lot of time for that person, as you should, because if you're in a serious relationship, you know, that requires work and time and effort and love. So it's been really nice to reallocate those resources toward my relationship with my family, with my friends, with myself. And who knows, I might meet a guy tomorrow that totally makes me rethink all of this and I get eloped in Las Vegas, but I'm hoping that's not the case. I hope that it all kind of happens in its own time. Like I said, I'm not opposed to a relationship, it's just nice to not be actively seeking one out. You know, I think this might be the most open I've been about my love life on the internet. It's not really something that I talk about, and that's a conscious decision. There was one summer I remember a while back where David Dobrik and Liza Koshy broke up, and a whole bunch of other internet couples also announced that they were splitting up, and that really affected me. I realized that the only thing more difficult than deciding to end a relationship is to then air out that private, heartbreaking, terrifying moment to a bunch of strangers. I know that sharing about your relationship online and working together works really well for a lot of people. You know, I immediately think of Jenna and Julian or Matt, Pat, and Steph, like tons of other examples too. I think you just need to have really clear rules about what information gets shared publicly, whether that be to mutual friends or to the internet. Anywho, thanks for letting me rant about that. Let me know if you want a more in-depth conversation about dating and relationships, because I think it's a really interesting topic, but I gotta get going because I am in danger of running late. I'm just putting on one of my favorite perfumes. It's actually what I was wearing during this iconic moment. You smell unbelievable. <laughs> I'll link it down below if you want to check it out, but I hope you guys had fun getting ready with me, and I hope you enjoyed this little chit-chat conversation. I sure did. I know that it wasn't super funny or crazy or anything, but it felt very real, and that was really nice. So I hope you're having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!